All right, I've been asked a few times about this new app called Spaces.do. Um, I'm going to call it Spaces.do because if you search Spaces, Mac OS, Spaces writing, like it's all just going to talk about Mac OS Spaces, that actual feature, instead of um, the right, the app. So it's actually at Spaces.do is the URL. Before we do that, a couple things. If you want to support the channel, number one is to go to Patreon, become a patron at uh, patreon.com slash Curtis McHale, or to take one of my courses uh, at curtismchale.ca slash Skillshare, and then you can find my courses there. I have one on TickTick, one on time blocking, one coming up on Zettelcast and getting started with it. So spaces dot do. You can see I have my, I actually wrote the review for it in here, and I imported, uh, I don't know, we'll call it like 900, almost 1,000 notes um, in here. Some things it does is it lets me favorite it and pin it, I don't think the pinning shows as nicely, at least in this theme, but it has lots of nice themes. So I'm going to give it a point on that. Gotham. Uh, what else do I have? Lucent. Great. Uh, I actually like retro, which is where I was, I think. Retro, yep. Doesn't show it very well. Uh, it shows a, the spacing right here between other and pinned a little better on the iPad. Um, but honestly, the unverdict is the app is only okay, so I'm not going to actually get into the iPad app at all, really. Uh, sync. Sync's pretty good. Uh, it takes a few minutes to have things sync between devices. It took about five minutes for my eh, 900, 1,000 notes to sync over and to have all the tags indexed on the side. Um, like most apps, it does uh, say double brackets to give you wiki linking. You can see I'll go double bracket and let's search for uh, broken window theory because I know it's there. And now I have a Zettelcast in style link. I can come back in and I can actually even go to it doesn't actually show in here anywhere that there is a link to this document, so that's not as useful as some other Zettelcast and options like Craft or Obsidian. Both show those things for you. Um, to categorize your notes, you use tags, and you can use nested tags. All right, so I have Zettelcast in over here, but I could even do, uh, let's do that, Zettelcast in something. And we should see up here in a second, yep, Zettelcast in, and something is in there. That's good. Although I gotta admit, this is not documented anywhere on their site. It actually took me a while to figure out that that's how you do it, which is really similar to Bear, but they do a bad job of documenting it. So I don't know. Um, that's it. It's got a decent number of options for export as well, right? I can go into a note and I can hit export and I can do markdown text, text bundle, HTML, but there's no EPUB. Um, what about PDF? It's not that the options are bad in this app. They're just lacking. They're just, that's it. They're just lacking. Now, for the decentness of it, there's a whole bunch of issues. So here's a good one. Let's grab a link. Let's just see what's in my clipboard. Uh, here you go, spaces.do. Good. So I've got a link. Oh, look at that. Maybe this. This is going to be a problem I had earlier. So this is the lightning search. Notice I cannot hit escape. So I'm doing, not escaping. i got to go back in here. Let me try this again. Or what is it? Command S? I don't know how I did. See, I don't know how I triggered that. That's a problem I was going to get to. How do I trigger lightning search? I don't know. If I come up here and search lightning, because that's what they call it, lightning search, there is no keyboard command beside it. What's it? I don't know how to trigger this. And then when you do trigger it, you can't exit it. Anyway, we're going to talk about this. So a link. So a link. And I can highlight it and I can hit. Alexa, be quiet. I can hit Command K now. And I think, okay, there's my URL. I can hit Tab, get into it. But if I, this is required, the title's required, even though I'd highlighted the text, a link under there. Now if I type, not the text, hit Save. Oh, look, it switched the text out. Not only that, a link, right? A link, if I highlight again, and then I text, and now I hit enter, nothing happens. Command enter, also fairly common to accept the link, nothing happens. Save, and it actually just stole my text. So that means if I was writing, this happened to me like twice, two, three times, if I was writing this and I wanted to like put a link in my text here, I'd highlight it, I'd create a link, and then I have to type in the exact same text that I just had. Super dumb. Lightning search, I already talked about that. That's what this is gonna be about, lightning search doesn't work well, right? If I go lightning search, hit enter, search, it searches fine, right? Spaces.do review, great. But I can't exit it without coming back to the mouse. Same thing I had to do 
with the link. I had to come back to the mouse to make it work. And then I said this already, but right here, before I even started this review, I actually went in here and said, hey, like, let me look at how to categorize these over here. And it, it's not documented anywhere. That's, that's the big problem. It's just not documented anywhere. So if we open up uh, we Firefox, there you go, help. It's not documented in here anywhere. Let me get this off on another screen for you. Oh, which is kind of hard. I'm sure there's a keyboard counter for that, but I don't know what it is. Um, right, it's not documented in here. How to do your tagging. That tagging results in what they call a space over on the one side. It's just there. Next up, it doesn't support tasks. It says it does. You can see right here, to do. But when I go in here and try to create a to do, dash, right, dash, oh, it turned into a bullet. Oh, why did it work now? It didn't work earlier. So let's see. How did I trigger that again? I have no idea how I triggered lightning search. I can't get out. Okay. So the to-do seems to work in that instance. Although I had lots of... It was not... Didn't seem to be working earlier. Maybe it's the space. Maybe I missed the space. So that works. Great. I'll say that works this time. I did it again. How do, okay, how do we do this? I'm going to go command A... Shift Command A, Shift A. I have no idea how I did that. Still have no idea how I do, did Lightning Search, although there's a keyboard command that I'm unaware of. Backticks don't work right here, right? There's no code block backticking. There's no formatting for that. Again, it says it works in here. Right? It says backticks work. They don't work, or they don't work well. I don't give you any view. Block quotes work. Great. Um, and the lack, last straw here is no multi-window support. So like, how do I take this, if I wanted to reference this note and move it out to like its own spot so I could reference this note at the same time? I can't. I just can't. So what do I say about spaces.do overall? I say that it's an app. It's a regular three-pane app. It looks decent. Their design is nice. I like the themes in it. Sync is reasonable. Nothing to write home about, but certainly reasonable. And it's got a bunch of features that are decent. Um, even the wiki linking, great. It just seems like everyone has to have wiki linking now. I'm not sure why this has it. It seems like it builds itself as a writing app. Right? If you go back to the, it says, the joy of writing elevated. So it's a writing app. But then it doesn't have some of the stuff you do in a writing app, like be able to export like Ulysses does into EPUB if you wanted to produce a book. And then it doesn't seem to fully support all the stuff I want out of something like Obsidian. Like it doesn't show backlinks to other things. So it feels like it's in search of exactly what it is right now. And I ultimately think something like Ulysses, IA Writer, um, lots of other things are better for writing and that obsidian room research or craft are way better for research now i bought this when they had a deal for lifetime support and then what is this? this is january 28th i think it still goes out um for a little bit into february i'm gonna put this video out today but i don't mind the 50 dollars maybe i paid for it i don't actually know um i don't actually mind that what i paid for it it's something to watch for the future but i wouldn't say that it's worth the subscription right now. I'm not gonna tell you to go buy it. Keep an eye on spaces.do, but for now, just hold off because it's neat, it's new. I think that people like it because it's new and they're giving it breaks on all the stuff that doesn't seem to work very well and all the UI that's kind of hard to use. That's it. If you liked the video, thumbs up below, subscribe, hit the bell, and maybe YouTube will let you know what happened, but it's YouTube. Who knows if that's going to happen? Uh, other ways to support the channel are to go to patreon.com slash Curtis McHale, become a patron, or to go to curtismchale.ca slash Skillshare and take one of my courses, like my courses on TickTick or time blocking. Watch my upcoming course on getting started with Zettelkasten. Have a good one.